Hey guys, this is Rob from RobCook.com. I wanted to talk today about mindset and how you got to change the way you think, if you're going to change the way you act, if you're going to change your health and fitness, if you're going to do anything really, but I want to specifically talk about if you want to change the way you eat. If you want to change the way you eat, you got to change the way you think, guys. You just do. Um, if you don't do it that way, if you just make it a test of wills with yourself, and willpower, um, you know, everybody's got willpower. You know, anybody can make it a couple weeks on willpower. But you know what? You can make it a whole lot easier if you just make it a change. If you just change the way you think about things. Food cannot be a sense of enjoyment and pleasure or something that you look forward to. You can't go to bed at night worrying about what you're going to eat for breakfast. You can't, you know, think about, you know, when you're eating breakfast, you can't be wondering, well, what we're going to have for dinner because if you think like that, it's just going to be a struggle for you. Food has got to be a, a, a sense of, um, it's got to be fuel for your body, something that you eat to fuel your body. And I'm not saying that you can't enjoy life and you can't go out and have fun and you go to birthday parties and eat cake and stuff. It just can't be an everyday thing, guys. You can't be putting food at the top of the priority list every single day of your life. It's just got to be an occasional thing. You know, everything in moderation, as they say, it's just got to be something that you do once in a while. It can't be an everyday thing. The everyday thing has got to be a mindset change to where you look at food differently. If you look at food differently, the whole process will be a lot easier for you. If you think of food, just like I said, as fuel for your body, it'll be different. Habits are formed in 21 days, guys, so if you just change your mindset, you will absolutely change the way you think about food. If you change the way you think about food, it won't be a test of wills anymore. It won't be just about willpower. It'll be a lifestyle. And once it's a lifestyle, it's a whole lot easier. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you that if you change the way you think about it, you won't crave that stuff anymore. When you see other people eating stuff, you won't be like, wow, I wish I could have that. You won't even think about it that way. For you, a lifestyle change where you're just in that mode. Um, and again, I'm not saying that it's got to be like that all the time. If you read my ebook, you'll see that I talk about, um, you know, letting yourself uh, eat whatever you want every once in a while. Um, get the book; it's on my page. Just, just, just give me your email address, and I'll send it out to you. That's all. I mean, just read the book and tell me what you think. I'd love to hear your your feedback on it. Um, um, I've been helping people with the program that I outline in that book. I've been helping people for years. I've just now, at this point in my life, gotten to a point where I've decided to go ahead and and do a website and, and start a movement and, and really start trying to help people. And, and, uh, and that's why I put the, my, my program into book form. It's just a small 25-page um, book, guys. It's not fancy-dancy at all, but I'm telling you that the principles in that book, the principles are very solid and will help change your life if you just read the book and, and practice what I, what I tell you to do in that book. So, um, again, uh, get the book, read it. Um, send me an email if you need any help, um, or if you want to call me, we can talk on the phone about it. But uh, I hope this helps. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. This is Rob with RobCook.com. Take care.